Good afternoon. Today is Thursday, July 27th. We had the regular meeting of the Grand Rapids Economic Development Authority today. Uh, we did have a pretty lengthy meeting. We started out with a closed uh, meeting to discuss some property purchases. Um, and obviously we'll, we'll work towards that as we uh, continue on and, and that'll become public when we do actually close those purchases if we, if we do decide to do so. Ran into our regular meeting and conducted a public hearing to consider the uh, approval of a purchase and development agreement with uh, the Itasca County HRA to develop eight additional single family units on the Forest Lake site, or the former Forest Lake site, I guess is a better way to say it. Those sites will be uh, developed through a program with uh, MHFA, so the Itasca County HRA will be applying uh, to the MHFA for some program dollars to help with that process. we will also be part of the land trust that the uh, we've already done this with a couple other units. So that process is continuing. So as part of that approval of the uh, purchase and development agreement, we also approved a letter of support to MHFA in support of Itasca County HRA's uh, application to get additional funds to help develop these units. We all know that we need some additional housing in our community and uh, these will be some very market rate affordable type units. I think Rob noted that there were, originally we had thought we were gonna get 24 units on that site. It sounds like we're down to 22, which is still a, a very good number for our community. We also uh, accepted a letter of intent to purchase another lot in the Gray River Acres development. Uh, so. That's near the new West Elementary School. That will be the third home that will be built in that development. We also have another agreement to develop five more homes over the next few years. So that development is continuing to grow and, and we're continuing to see some construction there. And then we also did two other minor issues. We approved some letters for appraisals and uh, review appraisals for some property that the EDA is going to actually purchase from the city. These parcels are close to the airport, so they used FAA money to purchase this property years ago. A lot of times the city can, can convey property to the EDA so that we can use that for economic development. In this instance, because those parcels were originally purchased with FAA money, we actually have to buy that property from the city so that that money goes back into airport operations. So just a little bit more of a process um, because the federal government vis-a-vis -vis the FAA is involved. So um, we did approve that proposal. And then we also approved a proposal for some wetland mitigation along um, 7th Avenue Southeast, which is actually the uh, what we normally consider the airport road. Uh, so there's some wetlands there in an area that we'd like to consider for future uh, industrial development. So we're going to do some wetland mitigation work there. Uh, that was the extent of our meeting. Um, thank you for, for listening and have a great day.